Last week's earthquakes in Ridgecrest were felt by many here in San Diego. Some local residents are now considering getting earthquake insurance. News 8's Shannon Handy joins us to verify what you need to know. Shannon? Yeah, Barbara Lee and Carlo, the majority of homeowners in California do not have earthquake insurance. Some say it's too pricey. Others think they'll never need it. Either way, interest is growing. So we wanted to answer some of the questions you may have. There's nothing shaking in my home or anything. Michael Ledwine didn't feel last week's earthquakes at his Azalea Park home, but they did make him reconsider getting earthquake insurance just in case. I had it for a few years. Of course, no earthquakes around here. And then I decided, you know what? I don't want to pay that kind of money for it anymore. Michael isn't alone. Agents statewide have reported a huge spike in calls. With so many questions, we wanted to verify a few things. For starters, does earthquake insurance cover all damage? The short answer, no. If your damage is less than your deductible, it won't be covered. Aaron Farmer runs his own firm, Aaron J. Farmer Insurance, as well as CheapEarthquakeInsurance.com. He broke down some numbers for us. A Mira Mesa home with $440,000 in coverage and a 7.5% deductible or $33,000 will cost $285 annually in earthquake insurance. In Escondido, $800,000 of coverage with a 10% deductible, $80,000, will cost about $450 a year. A home in La Jolla would be more in part because the area lies atop the Rose Canyon fault line. The rates just depend on the zip code you're in. You'd have to exceed your deductible before it would start to pay. Will homeowners insurance cover damage related to an earthquake? No. Earthquake insurance is excluded from a homeowner's policy. If you don't have earthquake insurance and the big one hits, will the government bail you out? Not exactly. Disaster loans, if available, are limited and must be repaid. Finally, can people within or near an earthquake's epicenter receive coverage right away? No. In Ridgecrest, for example, companies won't start offering new policies for a minimum of 30 days. In San Diego, that moratorium doesn't exist right now. Michael just received a quote for $335, a number both he and Aaron say is worth the peace of mind to protecting your home. For what some people buy at Starbucks once a week could cover all the equity in your home. Now there's two ways to get earthquake insurance through the California Earthquake Authority or a private company. Also keep in mind renter's insurance does not protect you from an earthquake. Back to you. We'd like you to weigh in on this tonight. Do you have earthquake insurance? Yes, no, or do you plan to purchase it? Let us know by going to cbs8.com slash vote. We'll update the results for you a little later in our newscast. So far, though, nearly 70% of people saying no, they don't have it which doesn't surprise me. Not after you see that report. Yeah. And after the last week's quake, I'm sure a lot of people are reconsidering. Yeah.